the Pentagon is going to present Congress with an unclassified report on recent UFO sightings as early as today. Our next guest was on board the USS Princeton off the Southern California coast in 2004 when he witnessed this tic-tac-shaped object flying through the air. Sean Cahill joins us now. He's retired Navy Chief Master at Arms. Sean, great to have you with us today. What, what are your expectations for this report, and what do you hope it will do in terms of shedding more light on this issue that some people say uh, in the military are seen actually quite often? Well, I'm keeping my expectations low, but I'm ready to pivot based on the information we're given. Um, I expect the UAPTF to get what they ask for from, from the government. The question is, is how much cooperation the various aspects within our government are going to give to the task force. Okay, what did you see years ago? Well, in 2004, when I was stationed on board the Princeton, I was up on the bridge while we were coordinating the efforts to try to find out whether or not these tracks on radar were real or not. Once we had determined that they were real objects, we sorted some F-18s out there. And the night before they sortied, I had seen five to seven objects up in the sky at approximately 45 degrees off the port bow at about 2,000 feet. All of them moved together towards the center of a circle in a counterclockwise fashion, and they all uh, disappeared or blinked out. This seemed to correspond with the movements of the things that we were seeing on the radar as well. Wow, 17 years ago. What were you thinking at the moment? I thought that what I was seeing was exotic. I had never seen anything move like that in the sky, whether a meteor or an aircraft or anything in the spectrum. Um, I didn't know what I had seen. Uh, once, I had, once we had finished that, I had gotten on with the exercise and moved on. When you look at it, back at it now, knowing what you know, what do you think the source could potentially be of this? What makes the most sense to you? Well, it's going to surprise some people, but what makes the most sense doesn't seem to be any of our uh, adversaries or near-peer technology. In 2004, what we witnessed there uh, showed us all of what Luis Elizondo calls the five observables, which uh, definitely indicate an exotic technology. Mm. Why do you say your expectations are so low? Why would that be based on this report? What a lot of people don't understand is this isn't a brand new subject. This subject has been in and out of our government for the last 70 years and has been investigated by numerous portions of our government. It has never seemed to be a subject that anyone wanted to talk about openly. And in the last few years since I've gotten involved, we've fought a stigma just to get this conversation out in the open. You know, uh, Harry Reid has even suggested that there are UFO parts in the hands of defense contractors. Do you think that's reasonable to assume or I th believe? I think that... I think based on the people who've made those statements, that's a highly likely possibility. Mm. Chief Cahill, we're going to stay in touch with you. Uh, 